Mama Bear. Okay, hi guys. Here of none here. Uh, today's tip video, we're gonna be going over kind of what you should be doing while you're leveling if you're new to the game. Okay, we've already gone over places you can level. This is gonna be kind of like what you should do while you level and as you grow up, grow up in your in your character here. So typically, character here, uh, you have several things that you can be doing. That's generally what you want to do as you get yourself up there first on skills. You're gonna have skills. You're gonna be able to. You're gonna have ability to morph stuff, to learn stuff, and go up and do all this other great stuff here. What I'll probably recommend doing each time that you want to level, or as you level and as you get yourself up there, take your abilities and rotate in them. Even if you're not going to use them, even if you don't know what they're going to do, okay, rotate them into your bar. That way, they get leveled up as you go. That's an important thing because to get any of the skill. To any of the levels up into this, you have to have it slotted. Now, if you want something to level up faster than something else, you can load up more of these abilities into your bar to help it go faster. In addition to that, your weapon skills here, like we're on a bow bar right now, and we can actually take our dual wield skills here and put it onto the bow bar. Now, note, you can't use them while they're like this, but while they're slotted there, you will get experience for them here, and you will also get experience for the weapon skill. So let's say you can't really do, let, let's say you're doing a lot of close range stuff, the bow you don't actually use. So using all dual wield stuff here. Well, you can go ahead and actually load on the bow skills here and still get level up and, you know, raise it up here while you're not using that bow, which is kind of helpful because until you're level 15, you don't get weapon swap. So this weapon swap here is not available until you hit 15. And if you want to have some skill points into that while also only using the, those dual wheel stuff, that's a good way to handle it. Now, in addition to this, you also have a whole bunch of stuff here that you can be learning with light armor, heavy armor, soul magic, legerman, lion support, etc. If you don't see any of these here, part of the reason is because you can only get... Uh, you can only see these lines once you've killed something with a weapon. You can only see armor lines once you've equipped three light or three medium or three heavy. Uh, Legend, you can only see once you've unlocked a chest or stone some, some, something for somebody. In Alliance War, you only see once you've actually joined Alliance. Now, there's other stuff that will unlock through DLCs. Um, again, as you open up weapon skills and also crafting as you visit the crafting stations. So don't ignore those. Go and take a look at them. Skill points. You're never going to have enough skill points until you get up to higher levels. So what I really recommend doing is go ahead, hunt out sky shards, find these things. Three of them will give you a skill point. There's also quests out there that will give you skill points as well. Um, and there's add-ons to help them as well. There's, a uh, Sub filters for like Cadwell's Almanac and skill points, which will give you the, the, the roadmap to basically getting skill, skill points and ignoring all the other side quests. But there are some good side quests, so don't ignore everything. And remember, quests do give you equipment and experience, which will help you level up as you go on. Um, addition to that, again, add ons. You probably want to take a look at a few of these here. Some of them are going to be out of date because of Morrowind. Some of them are going to be in date. Take a look on ESOUI.com or get the minion add-on to help you manage these. These are going to be helpful to you. Though, take a look on my website if you want to see some of my recommended ones. Though, don't get into like the Sky Shard ones, the lore book ones, until you've at least played the game for a bit. They're hard to find, but it is a rewarding experience to going out, searching, and finding it on your own. When you finally get frustrated for a zone, though, you can go ahead, turn the add-on on, then go back through and collect everything you missed. Not that bad. Uh, let's see here. That's basics on that, that, that. Oh, one other thing I can give a recommendation on, because you guys are new, you may not know it, but there is skills called animation canceling. Not quite quite intuitive they never teach it to you in any of the tutorials yet they do condone using it because you will have to use it inside pvp and even some PV, uh, pve stuff as well animation canceling is the simple act of taking an animation and canceling it a good example here i'm going to be using is with the bow da, 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 da. doing this because it's a little bit easier to show to go off with this here so light attack light attack light attack Fully charged heavy attack. Fully charged heavy attack. 
Now, animation canceling. Basically a medium attack. It's not going to give you your resources back, but it's going to hit slightly harder than your other stuff. In addition to that, you can also animation cancel these abilities here to go off faster. The reason that's important is because if you need to execute something quickly or block, etc., that's how you do it. See how fast I fired that between light and... Light attacks and draining shot, weaving it. Now, if I was to do it without animation canceling, the, the combat would seem extremely, extremely slow. So, do it on this guy. Much, much, much slower. So, again, it's, it's basically the... What you're looking to do, you can do a block while you do it. You can do a roll dodge. But basically the idea here is that your skills are on one global cooldown timer. Your light attack and heavy attack are on a different global cooldown timer. And then your block and your roll dodge are on a different timer as well. So you can weave those in to work it how you need to. Okay, So that's just some things to keep in mind while you do this. Hope you enjoy enjoy your time in Tamriel. Oh, and one other thing I should mention as well. Something you might not realize, and I I almost meant I almost missed this one. One other thing you can do, your riding skill and your bag space. Those are two things you can improve as you go along. Make sure to take a look at those as you go along in town, okay? Um, those are some things I also, even I, even I almost just missed mentioning that to you in this video. So make sure to take a look and get those improved too. So hope that was helpful guys. I'll catch you next time. Meow, meow, meow.